Good morning, Pop Pops Bees. It's raining. I just had knee surgery, so I probably don't need to be out there working hives. Probably don't need to be doing nothing according to the rest of the world. But you can't grow if you ain't out here pushing it. So here we are pushing it. So I'm making hive tops. This is more for the 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 bee crowd that's trying to grow. And I mean, you can pretty much grow as fast or as slow as you want to, or as long as the wallet can stand it. So this is a pretty good way to, uh, to make some tops. Quick, easy, a whole lot less expensive. Uh, we got sheets of plywood. So out of a sheet of plywood, I am actually getting four of these cuts there are 22 they can y'all do then they're 22 inches wide okay here is a mass produced top it's i'm sorry wrong measurement 22 inches wide so we're the same thing out of that 22 inches after i cut those you get that scrap on the end that's all the scrap we have out of sheet of plywood. I may try to come up with something for that. Maybe make a breeding nuke out of it or something. So when I cut these, after I cut it 22 inches wide, I'm cutting these 18 and an eighth wide. All right. So out of each one of those, I get two 18 and an eighth wide and I'm left with one or two, I'm sorry, one of those, which will work for a nuke top or a swarm top cover. I haven't decided which I'm gonna use. I may make some more tops for these old Tom Seeley traps, just cause we catch a lot of bees. So they're, they're getting run down. I think those tops will go better for, for the old Tom Seeley traps than they would um, if I made them out of a solid piece of wood. I tried doing that and it's so big tends to warp and crack. So I may make some of those, but either way, one sheet of plywood, I'm getting eight tops, okay? And four either nuke tops or swarm trap tops. So that's not bad, sheet of plywood's $25. Now, I'm not worth a flip at this pretty metal wrapping. That's why we purchase these lids for our customers to buy. And if you're only running one or two hives, three or four hives, five or six, that's great. We're at 150 right now and we're going to 200. So I, I got to, to, to save when I can. Last year I made some of these because we were growing pretty quick and got in a bind and painted them and did the tops with the rubber roof coating. I could get it loose. A gallon of that rubber roof coating, elastic roof patch and rolled that on, so they work great. So I've got those cut. Y'all remember I make boxes out of rough cut lumber. We, uh, I got 25 more of those put together. That's my finished product on my, on my highs. Turns out pretty good. But I end up with, because I order 12 inch wide boards, I end up with scrap like that. So, that's a tall stack. That's, that's a lot of wood. So I'm going to use four of these on each one of my tops. And I will cut them down the length. And there you go. We ain't wasted nothing. So those will be my, my ends and my, my sides for my hive tops. We'll paint them white, a uh, base coat of paint. And then I'll do the rubberized roof coating on the top of them, which will be white. And uh, so $100, I'm going to have 32 tops. And let's see, we're getting four. So 16 nuke tops. 16 nuke tops and 32 hive tops. So we just increased pretty well on 100 bucks. Well, that stuff there is pretty expensive, but hopefully a gallon or two gallons will get all that done. And I don't have the time 
tied up in the wrap in the middle. I could probably get all these built on a rainy day. Hope that helps. Pop Pops Bees, Funny Bug Bees and Woodworks. Please like and subscribe. Y'all have a good day.